Hi campers, my name is Jay Elliott and I've been asked to contribute to your career day today um, and really excited to be here with you because first of all I have a job that I think is really exciting and, and hopefully um, what I tell you about it might inspire you and I've also got a connection to Upspring being the fiance of Katie from Upspring so excited to be here also um, as a member of the Upspring family or at least an extended member of the Upspring family. So my job is as a medical scientist, and I work for a company, Bayer, that you might know because it makes things like aspirin, uh, which helps reduce uh, people's risk of having a heart attack or a stroke, as well as helping people with, with pain. Uh, we also make things like Flintstones vitamins and a number of other medicines that you can either um, obtain by going to your doctor if you have a, a particular condition or disease, or what are called consumer products, which are the things that you can go to the store and buy yourself, like vitamins and, and things to help um, you if you've got a, a sore stomach or a headache or things like that. And so in my job as a medical scientist, I help bring medicines to market and also help understand, um, help people understand how they can be used to help uh, people with uh, their, their medical conditions. So it's exciting to me because um, on one hand, I get to help people and I get to interact with doctors and patients who, who are experiencing certain diseases and looking for, um, looking for treatments and, and help with those diseases. And it's also fun because I get to contribute to the science behind understanding of diseases and understanding uh, the science behind drugs and, and uh, treatments that can help people that are, that are experiencing uh, diseases. So what I'm working on right now is a new treatment for patients with kidney disease in addition to their diabetes. So you might know from your families, uh, people have either had diabetes or have experienced complications from diabetes, and those complications can be uh, problems with their hearts. People with diabetes can also uh, become blind because of problems that happen in their eye. Um, they can also develop uh, issues with their feet um, and, and, uh, and, and other parts of their body like the kidney. And so the kidney is where I'm particularly focused because there aren't many treatments that are available to help people with diabetes and kidney disease. And people with kidney disease and diabetes are at a very high risk of either having a heart attack or stroke or having some other um, bad um, event with their heart, um, with their heart and their blood vessels, um, but also because of the kidney complications of diabetes, where people who have diabetes are at an increased risk of having their kidneys fail over time. And your kidneys are basically the, the filter in your body that clears out the, the bad waste products from your blood um, that gets created just by all of the, the, the processes that go on in your body. And so as your blood goes through your kidneys, it's filtered, and those um, waste products are then um, eliminated from your body by your urine. So when you pee, you're actually, um, you're actually uh, peeing out or getting rid of, of the waste that your kidneys filter. So in diabetes, when your kidneys start to fail, those waste products build up, and um, it, it can lead either to uh, really bad symptoms, or people uh, so people feel bad, or they can experience um, kidney failure, which puts them at risk of dying. And so the drug that I'm working on is one that for patients with diabetes and kidney disease will hopefully help them uh, have fewer heart attacks and strokes, as well as having a lower risk of developing those kidney complications that can threaten not only how they feel, uh, but also their their um, their, their lifespan and their ability to survive. So the job's super exciting because on the one hand I get to work with science and I get to work with scientists to understand the kinds of research and experiments and studies that we need to do to bring a drug to market. And the job's also really fun because I get to spend time with doctors and patients talking to them about the science, understanding what they need from new treatments to help people with their diseases, and then bridging the gap to bring all of those things together so as we as a company try to develop products that can do the best to help patients, um, that that information is received and, um, and, the, and we do things about the information that I gather to make our products better and more able to help people. 
So that's, that's my job in a nutshell. And uh, I think in closing, what I'll, I'll hopefully leave you with is the kinds of ways that you can get to do a job like mine. Um, so I have a PhD, so I went to school for a very long time. Um, I just went to school for 11 years after high school. Uh, and in that time, I, I learned uh, research, I learned a lot about science, and I learned a lot about physiology, so the way your body works, and pharmacology, which is the way that drugs act in the body. So um, by doing that, I was able to learn everything that I needed to know to be um, a scientist who could do the kind of work that I'm doing now. Um, but along the way, I also needed to learn about business and how science and business meet to help uh, develop drugs that can, of course, help people and, and hopefully make our company successful. And so the fun three things that I do and the three things that I think are really I'm really good at are, first of all, understanding the science and how science can help um, bring new treatments that are going to help people live better and longer lives. Uh, the second thing is that I also need to understand business and how it is that companies make money and how we can best meet the needs of helping people, but also being successful as a company so we can continue to bring uh, new treatments to patients who need them. And then the third thing that I do, that, that it, or the th third thing that I, I need to be successful at to be good at my job, is also to be able to communicate. And so that means to be able to listen to people, listen to their needs, listen to what's important to them, interpret what they're saying as far as um, what they mean from a scientific perspective, but also from a, a medical and a human standpoint, and then to be able to communicate those needs to other people in order to best develop solutions that will bring these products um, and, and treatments in, into, uh, into use and help the most people that we can. So I hope that helped you better understand what I do, and um, I hope that maybe a job like mine might be of interest to you. And if so, um, my best recommendation is to study science, study math, um, and find your passion. Uh, if, if you go to college or when you go to college, just choosing something that interests you um, and, and following that through as, as far as you can. And there are lots of jobs like mine that exist that do things at pharmaceutical companies or elsewhere um, that at the end of the day are really interesting if you like science, uh, if you like medicine, and you like helping people. So hope that, was, hope that was helpful to you. Wish you a very happy career day and enjoy your camp and best of luck. Bye.